Hello viewers, today we shall discuss about the rest of the anatomical portions which we have left and this portion includes the circulatory system, respiratory system and nervous system of grasshopper. Circulatory system in case of insect is open type. Open type means the blood which is technically known as hemolymph. It flows freely in the body cavity which is also known as hemoseal. So there are no tubes like the other higher animals where the blood flows in either arteries or the veins. Here the system is open type but in other animals it is closed type. Now the circulatory system consists of following organs or the following organs are concerned with the circulation of the blood. The first is the dorsal vessel. Now the dorsal vessel is a tube like structure and lying just below the integument or the body wall. It is the main pulsatory organ or main organ of the circulation. Now it is opened anteriorly. However, it is closed posteriorly. In the whole tube, there are divisions and they act as the chambers or they can be termed as heart. So, in case of insect, this tube is divided into 13 chambers or we can say that there are 13 hearts are present. Now this function of closing and opening of this tube is governed by special valves which are known as osteal valves. The dorsal vessel or the tube when it reaches the brain or when it reaches the head then it is termed as arota. Heart, we have already said that it is made up of 13 chambers which is divided into different chambers or different parts controlling of the opening closing of these chambers is governed by special structures. Now the body cavity which is known as hemo seal it is divided into three chambers by two diaphragms. The two diaphragms they are dorsal as well as the ventral diaphragm. Dorsal diaphragm and ventral diaphragms both are perforated. It means the blood can go from this side to that side. Now with the presence of two diaphragms the entire body cavity is divided into three parts and these three parts they are known as dorsal, middle and ventral sinus which are technically known as pericardial sinus, perivisceral sinus and perineural sinus. The pericardial sinus can be recognized in the inside body by the presence of this tube or the dorsal vessel. Similarly, where the nerve cord is present, then it will be perineural sinus and out of these three sinus or three parts, the middle part that is the pericardial sinus is the biggest part or the largest part of the body cavity. Besides this dorsal vessel which is 
supposed to be the main pulsatory organ for the circulation of the blood accessory organs are also present it means they also help to some extent in the circulation of the blood flow and these structures are mainly present near the junction where the appendage is attached say for example wing is an app important appendage leg is an important appendage of the insect so what we have discussed about the circulatory system that you can see on your screen with the help of this diagram where all the three sinuses and two diaphragms dorsal vessels all these structures can easily be seen in this diagram then it depicts that the blue portion is pericardial sinus middle portion which is shown in the green surface it is the peri visceral sinus and the pink part is perineural sinus so this diagram clearly depicts the different parts of the circulatory system now coming to the respiratory system in case of respiratory system the exchange of air which includes carbon dioxide and oxygen is performed by a special tubes which are known as trachea and these trachea they divide into finer branches and these finer branches they are known as tracheoles however there is a difference between trachea and tracheoles in case of trachea a cuticular lining or a thin layer of cuticle is present which is nothing it is the intima and this intima or this lining it bends in the form of the coil so in case of trachea the coil like spiral or coil like binding is there which is not present in case of tracheoles and the function of this spiral coiling is just to prevent the trachea from collapsing as soon as the trachea is divided into tracheoles the intima or this layer is lost that is the region why we call the insects are tracheate arthropod because this tracheal system is very much developed in case of insects and such type of respiratory system or tracheal tubes are not found in any other animal except the insects the main advantage of providing this type of tracheal system in the insect body is oxygen can directly reach to each and every tissues or the cells there is no involvement of blood for carrying the oxygen to the lowest unit of the body that is the cell it means the oxygen is directly reaching to the cell where the oxidation takes place and on energy is released after combining with the food material which is carried out with the inside the blood and energy is released which is utilized for the metabolic activity of the organism and carbon dioxide is again thrown back with the same tubes outside because it is a waste product that cannot be retained in the body now in fast flying insects where 
the insect wants to fly more distances or he wants to cover more distance then some sac like structures or balloon like structures they have been provided at certain places particularly close to the wing base legs etc so that more oxygen can be supplied at the time of either walking or flying now we have said that the tracheal system is very much developed in case of insects as such the system is further modified or divided into tracheal trunks which are either dorsal ventral or lateral tracheal trunks now these tracheal trunks they open outside the body in the form of a slit like structure which are technically known as spiracles or stigmata and the opening and closing of the spiracles is governed by a special type of structures a special wall like structures are also being provided in the stigmata or spiracles which govern the in and out of the air now this tracheal system is very important in case of insect it is further classified in different insects based on the number of functional spiracles now the question arises what is a functional spiracle functional spiracle means if a spiracle which is perfect to take the oxygen and the carbon dioxide go back to the atmosphere now different types of respiratory systems they may be polypneumatic type in which at least eight functional spiracles should be present eight pairs and on this basis they are further divided into holopneumatic type it means all the 10 pairs they should be functional and this is very common in case of dragon flies grasshoppers and cockroaches second type is peripneumatic here nine pair of spiracles are functional it means one pair of spiracle is closed and that is mezo thoracic spiracle is closed and the example some of the dipterans hemipneumatic hemi means something absent it means eight pairs of spiracles are function two spiracles becomes non functional that is mesothoracic or abdominal spiracles and the best example is mitosophid larvae that comes under the order diptera second category of respiratory system is oligopneumatic in this one or two pairs of spiracles are functional which are further divided into ampipneumatic where only mesothoracic and last pair of abdominal spiracles are open propneumatic where only mesothoracic spiracles are functional and the good example is mosquito pupa then one separate category of respiratory system is apneumatic it means no functional spiracles are present it means all the 10 spiracles are closed and this is very common in case of may fly larvae or the nymph of odonata now the question arises then how respiration takes place in these insects where no functional spiracles are present it means the general body surface of the insect become respiratory as such they don't require any functional spiracles
the third system is nervous system now if we see a schematic diagram of the neuron because nervous system is composed of specialized cells which are called as neurons and this diagram shows what are the different parts of the neurons so it has a cell body then axon and then final branches which are known as terminal buttons or terminal arboreum nervous system is composed of special cells called neurons in insect the nervous system is divided into three part or it is classified into three parts central nervous system visceral or sympathetic nervous system and third is the peripheral nervous system now coming to the central nervous system this is the main nervous system and composed of a double chain of ganglia which are joined together by means of longitudinal as well as transverse bands or fibers however this system that is the central nervous system is divided into brain which is known as supraesophageal ganglia second is subesophageal ganglia and third is ventral nerve cord now brain which is situated in the head and it is again divided into four brain middle brain and hind brain and which are technically known as proto cerebrum duto cerebrum and trito cerebrum similarly the subesophageal ganglia it is connected to the brain by small connectives or some strands like structures which functions only to connect the supra esophageal ganglia with the sub esophageal ganglia ventral nerve cord the third part of the central nervous system it is double ganglionated chain of different ganglia and this chain or nerve cord is composed of three pairs of ganglia in the thoracic region and eight pairs of ganglia in the abdominal region but all the eight pairs of the abdominal ganglia cannot be seen in many cases so we can say that five pairs of abdominal ganglia are prominent out of the five abdominal ganglia fifth ganglion or fifth ganglia is the largest because it covers or it controls or coordinate the activity beyond the fifth abdominal segment so entire activity beyond fifth segment is governed by the fifth abdominal ganglia and that's why it is bigger in size so after going through the details of the central nervous system the other part of the nervous system is visceral or sympathetic nervous system which is mainly concerned with the involuntary actions of the insect body it means the actions on which the insect does not have any control they are automatically controlled by this system the activity which are controlled automatically within the body on which there is no outside control that is governed by this visceral or sympathetic nervous system which is further divided into three sub systems the first is stomodial 
सिंपैथेटिक और स्टोमेटोगेस्टिक नर्वस सिस्टम विच लाइज ऑन द डॉर्सल सरफेस ऑफ द फोर गट इट मीन्स इट इज प्रजेंट ऑन द डॉर्सल साइड ऑफ द फोर गट ऑफ द एलिमेंट्री कैनाल एंड इट इज मेड अप ऑफ फ्रंटल हाइपो सेरिब्रल एंड विसरल गेंगलिया सेकेंड इज वेंट्रल सिंपैथेटिक नर्वस सिस्टम इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ ए पेयर ऑफ ट्रांसफर्स नर्व दैट आर कनेक्टेड विद ईच गेंगलिया ऑफ द वेंट्रल नर्व कॉर्ड कॉडल सिंपैथेटिक नर्वस सिस्टम इन एडिशन टू दिस सम नर्व अराइज फ्रॉम पोस्टीरियर कंपाउंड गेंगलिया ऑफ द वेंट्रल नर्व कॉर्ड विच सप्लाई नर्व फॉर द पोस्टीरियर पार्ट ऑफ द गट दैट इज द एलिमेंट्री कैनाल एंड द रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम इट मीन्स दिस कॉडल सिंपैथेटिक नर्वस सिस्टम इज इम्पॉर्टेंट एज फॉर एज द रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम और द एक्टिविटी ऑफ द रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम इज कंसर्न लास्टली दैरिफरल नर्वस सिस्टम ऑल द नर्वस अराइजिंग फ्रॉम द गेंगलिया of the central and visceral nervous system constitute the peripheral nervous system it means this system is made up of the ganglia of central as well as the visceral nervous system it has two types of sensory neurons they may be either bipolar neurons or multipolar neurons bipolar neurons they are formed from the hypodermal cells and are connected with the cuticular sensory hairs it means they are directly attached to the hairs or the ct like structures multipolar neurons they are present below the integument it means they are present below the body wall of the insects so as such these bipolar and multipolar neurons they constitute the peripheral nervous system now let us conclude the three systems which we have just discuss in case of this circulatory system we found that this circulation is open type it means the blood is not flowing in any tube like structures we have also seen the different structures or the organs associated with the circulatory system similarly in case of respiratory system which has been meant for the exchange of gases between the environment and the cells here we have seen the different structures which are involved in this important system of respiration and different types of respiratory systems present in different insects likewise in case of nervous system which is meant for controlling and coordinating the different body activities going outside as well as inside of the insect body that is governed by the three important systems central nervous system visceral or sympathetic nervous system and peripheral nervous system